Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at another great eShop deals video. So with the Black Friday deals that just cleared out, don't think it's over. There's still a bunch of great deals on the eShop that we're going to take a look at today. And actually some that actually just dropped today. So there's going to be a ton of games that you're not going to want to miss on this list. So as we're going through the deals, don't forget that if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. So first on our list, we're going to look at Overcooked and Overcooked 2. Basically, Overcooked 1 is 75% off at only $4.99. Overcooked 2 is at 50% off, making it $12.49. Obviously, if you're not sure if you're going to like the game, start with the first one. It's just as good as the second. It's just basically more simple recipes. Basically, this is a co-op party game. So if you're playing alone, you'll find it not that interesting. But if you play it with at least one or two other people, this is a great game to have. Basically, you play cooks, you try to accomplish recipes, and you try to basically get in sync. Fair warning though, if you have a lot of people that have tempers, they can flare up with this game, so do be careful. Next, if we move on, not too far below, at $4.99, we have The Escapists 2. Now, the first Escapist is on sale as well. Basically, you play in a sandbox prison type environment, and your point is to break out as quick as possible. You can actually play this game co-op as well with either working together with your friend, trying to get out even quicker, or even one against the other, where you're trying to block your friend from escaping and to see who can basically escape first. Now, this is another Team 17 game. Team 17 just always puts out good games. So if you want to try it out, it's a great time at only $4.99. Moving out at 40% off is another great deal because the game actually just came out this year not too long ago. And it's basically a physics-based game. Once again, it the funnest way to play it is co-op. This week, there's a lot of co-op games on sale. But basically, you're trying to move furniture out in crazy environments, going from houses to planes to even floating uh, objects in space. It's really a great game. You basically have to work in tandem with someone else to manage to move furniture out of the house, trying to break the least possible amount of items. Next, we have Mousetopia. And I actually just reviewed this game last week, so if you want to check out the review, it's on the channel. This is a really laid-back, bare-bones Metroidvania. But it's a great introduction to someone who wants to try the first Metroidvania and not feel overwhelmed by too huge of an environment. At the same time, even if you're an experienced Metroidvania player, if you want like a few laid-back hours with a decent adventure, nice graphics, nice controls, this is a great game that to just kill a few hours with. So last week in one of my videos, I got some heat because I forgot to mention that the Worms franchise was part of the Team 17 catalog. Well, this week I'm not forgetting, and on top of it, their game is 75% off at $7.49 with Worms WMD. Basically, this is a strategy game, so you control different worms on a stage, and your point is to eliminate all the worms on the enemy team. Each worm is equipped with different weapons, such as mach machine guns, rocket launchers, grenade launchers, and so forth. And the point of the game is basically to kill the enemy team without losing all your worms. This is a great franchise if you love strategy games. The quality is top notch and basically at $7.49 this game is actually a steal. Next, we also still have Panzer Dragoon at 50% off for $12.49. This is one of the best on the rail shooters you can get nowadays. And not only on the Switch, I would say all platforms combined. It's a great remake of a Sega classic. It's a great arcade style game. And honestly, I bought it myself digitally a few weeks ago and I've been playing it over and over again. I had tried it out at release, but unfortunately I didn't have my own copy. I now bought it and I'm still playing it today. Now right next to it, we have the wonderful 101. Now this game, Other Weeks, almost made the cut on every list, but there was always so many other games that I just couldn't get around to talking about it. But The Wonderful 101 is a great 3D action game. It's really an out there art style, which is really, really great. It's combo based, it's a lot of fun. At 32% off, that's pretty much why it wasn't making the cut because there were so many other games that had a higher percentage off but it also just came out this year. So if you're looking for a really, really decent 3D action platformer game, The Wonderful 101 is a great thing to try. It is a Wii U port, uh, but nonetheless, it is a great game. It's made by Platinum Games. If you know Platinum Games, they make great action games, and this is one of their best. 
So quick mention that the Escapists Part 1, we had mentioned Escapists 2 previously. This was its predecessor. It's also 75% off for $3.74. Obviously, if you're unsure of the genre, you can start with the first one, then move to the second one. But in this case, I would say the second one has quite a bit of improvements over the first. So if you are sure that you're probably going to like the style, start with the second one and maybe work your way back to the first. Now this week, we actually have quite a few classical 2D fighting games that are on sale. And I'm a great, great fan of 2D fighters. Uh, and this is actually one of the best, which is a Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R. Uh, title's quite a, quite a mouthful. But basically, this is a great 2D fighting game. The only sort of warning that I'm going to give is that it is a very deep fighting game. What that means is don't expect to jump into this game, play a couple of matches and then go online and beat people. This is a game that is going to take a lot of dedication if you want to become really proficient at, but once you do, it is extremely rewarding because this game also rewards a lot of basically putting time into it, learning its mechanics and everything. And at $4.20, it's it's you just can't pass it up. If you like 2D fighters, if you've tried Street Fighter and you've liked that series, give Guilty Gear a, a try. It's different, but if you fall in love with it, it's way worth it. And at $4.20, this would be one of my major pickups of the week. I'd also spoke about this game previously as well. We have both ukuleles on sale. We're gonna see the second one a little lower, but the first ukulele is another great Team 17 game. It's 75% off at only $9.99. This is a 3D platformer, very, very reminiscent of Banjo and Kazooie, if you ever played that game for the N64. Uh, it is a great, great platformer. I, I really like it. It's maybe not the best available on the Switch, like it's not quite up there with like Mario Odyssey, but it is a very, very solid platformer. And for only $10, to me, it's one of those games that you don't want to miss. Next, I'm going to mention, but we're not going to spend too much time. We have the Survivalists, also by Team 17, but it's only 20% off. Right now, I have a feeling that if we wait till Boxing Day, we're going to be getting better deals on this. But the Survivalists are basically... Uh, take the escapist graphics and put it rather on trying to survive on a desert island and you have a pretty good idea of what the survivalists are. You have to be, gather resources, build up your village and so forth because you've been stranded on a desert island. Uh, that is the survivalists. It's still a decent deal at $19.99. Like it's a great game. I just have a feeling that the deals are going to be getting better in the next few weeks. Now next we have Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. So we just looked at the first ukulele and rather than being an exact sequel, it is a sequel, but rather than being a 3D platformer this time, they took a 2D platformer. You have a 3D overworld, but all the actual stages are two dimensional. And if the first game looked like Banjo and Kazooie or felt like Banjo and Kazooie, well, this one is almost identical to a Donkey Kong Country type feeling. And it's actually the same team that did the original Donkey Kong making this game. So you know they know what works and what doesn't. And Ukulele in the Impossible Lair is one of my sort of hidden gems on the Switch. The game seemed to have sell well, but not as well as I really think it deserved. And at 60% off for only $12.99, you're basically getting a game almost on the, on the same level of quality as uh, Donkey Kong which on the Switch, which is a full price Nintendo title at $60. Now next on our list, once again for fighting fans, we have Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle. This is a great, great fighting game. It's a it's a little more casual than the other games that are going to be on this list. So if you if you're not really into deep fighting games, I would say this is probably going to be the most accessible one. This is basically the anime equivalent of Marvel vs. Capcom. It takes the Blast Blue franchise, fighting franchise, and it integrates a bunch of anime characters from different franchises and also other gaming franchises such as Persona and whatnot. Now. It is a great game. It is a team-based battle game, so you're going to always be 2v2. But honestly, it is one of a very, very good 2D fighter. And since we don't have a lot on the Switch, I would say that at $9.80, this is a definite pickup if you're looking to scratch that itch. 
And next, we actually have another Blast Blue game. However, this is one of the traditional Blast Blue games, so it's not a mix up. And this is Central Fiction Special Edition. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the best overall Blast Blue games. It's also 69% off, making it only $15 instead of $49.99, because this is normally a full price title. Uh, if, once again, you want a deeper, really complete 2D fighting game, Blast Blue is another one. However, once again, the entry level to this game is a little bit higher. So you're going to have to give a little bit of dedication before you're going to be able to become proficient in this one. Another shout out to Namco Museum that is now 67% off at only $9.89. If you want to play all those classic, classic arcade games from Namco like Pac-Man, Pac Dig Dug, uh, just to name a few, well, this is a collection for you that you're not going to want to miss. At eight, at $9.89, it rarely... I think this is the cheapest I ever saw it. I think I put it in a previous video a few weeks ago at $15. I already found the deal was pretty good. At $9.89, it just makes it an auto pickup in my opinion. Now, once again, another 2D fighter, the original Guilty Gear that was ported to the Switch. If you want to go back to the beginning and feel what the original felt like, well, for only $4, 59% off, you can actually go and grab it. Just warn you, graphics are a little dated, but it's no worse than, I would say, Street Fighter Third Strike. Maybe a tad worse, but nonetheless, the game still holds up today. The fighting system is still very deep. And if you want to go back to the beginning, pick this one up. But right now, if I had the choice, I would automatically go for the full price title because it is just way better. The roster is fuller, the gameplay and the graphics have just been cleaned up. Also, since we mentioned the Namco Museum Archives Volume 1, Volume 2 is also on sale. However, the percentage isn't as strong at only 50% off. However, the game had a lower uh, base sale price at $9.99, so they do become out about equivalent. Uh, this is still a good collection, but to me it's not as classic as the first one, but there's still a bunch of great games like Galaga, Battle City, Pac-Land, Dig Dug 2, Super Xevious, Mappy Land. Uh, there's a lot of sequels actual, actually to the games in the first pack, but like I said, if people are thinking back to their arcade time, it's generally the volume one that people will think of the most. So that's pretty much it for today's list. Now I think that these are the games right now that I would focus on the most. However, I know that there's still a bunch of other good games that are on sale right now. So if you want to leave me any other suggestions or if you have any comments on the games I mentioned, please leave it in the comments down below. Now also a quick mention that this is a specially scheduled eShop deals. However, we will be returning to the regular schedule. So there should be another eShop deals coming out on Sunday or Monday of this week. And we'll be looking at a ton of other games that will be coming out from now till then. And as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to hit the like button because it really does help out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my videos come out. And as usual, I hope I see you in my next video.